guys. Tonight I wanted to talk to you about indexing plates. Here a shaft is in uh, is set up in a Kurt style vise. An indexing plate is secured onto the shaft and the end here has been milled six-sided hexagonal for a, say a, a ratchet and a socket arrangement or it could be six spokes on a wheel or six features evenly spaced around the shaft. Here's the hexagonal indexer plates here. The larger one has a two inch capacity. The smaller one has a one inch capacity. On this side here we have the octagonal or eight sided indexer plates. These are just uh, secured to the shaft using a set screw. Shaft sits in the bottom B groove, much like a lathe dog. It doesn't matter if, there's, if the shaft is centered in this plate or not. It could be way off to one side or high or low, it doesn't matter. These, the square is used to index the plate and as long as the sides are true to each other you'll get your features spaced properly around the shaft. So what we've been seeing here is the 8 page drawing package for the indexing plates. Um, bit of a cover page. Each of the four plates fully dimensioned, detailed, full scale views so that you can use them as templates. Uh, building notes, instructions for use, etc. etc. Eight pages. Uh, next thing I want to talk to you guys about is uh, we'll do a demo here. Here's our demonstration part. Four and a half inches long, two inch diameter. We're going to put eight features equally spaced around the circumference of this shaft indexed every 45 degrees so we'll be using our using our octagonal indexing plate good for two four or eight features equally spaced around a part 45 degrees apart so here's our indexing plate it's advertised as being two inch capacity but it's actually two and a sixteenth so there's room for a bit of shim stock under the set screw so we don't mar the part there it is installed. Let's get started. Let's go over to the mill. Okay guys, here we are at the milling machine. We have our vise on the mill table. We have a stop attached to the mill table. 
we have our workpiece with the indexing plate attached and we have a machinist square we'll go ahead and line up the first side I'm putting pressure on the to work to keep it against the fixed jaw and against the stop. And I'm pushing down on the square, down and against the indexing plate. Double check. Looks good. Okay, there's our first feature. We'll set up for the second one. Looks good. Happy with that. I wanted to show you guys a uh, 3 8 plate with a number 10 set screw. Just works out nice with uh, for lining up the machinist square. Doesn't cause an issue at all. Against the jaw, against the stop, squares against the bench. And against the indexing plate. Double check. Looks good. That looks good. I'll show you the milling on this last one. Uh, 
There we have it, guys. Eight features. 45 degrees apart. I'll clean this up and uh, we'll have a look. Only now that we're finished can we remove the indexing plate. We must, of course, leave it on until all operations are complete. Let's go over to the bench. Okay, guys. We're back at the bench. There's our eight-sided shaft. It's eight features equally spaced. We used the octagonal indexing plate. We could have done two, four. Okay, guys, we're back at the bench. Here's our shaft with eight features. We happen to use all eight sides of the octagonal indicator plate. We could have used two sides, four sides or eight sides. Let's have a look when you use when you're working with smaller stock. People have trouble with this concept, but now the stock is offset in the indicator plate. That's okay, that's perfectly fine. Pretend uh, we're at the milling machine. First position, spindle does its business. Second position, spindle does its business. It's a, the, the work is all forced up against the fixed jaw just like normal milling. There's no, no forces on the indexing plate. It's simply there to allow you to clock the position of the shaft. It's hard to get your head around until you see it. Once you see it, you realize Here's a little bit bigger shaft. This is a tail shaft from a, an auger. This is a standardized product that many manufacturers create. It calls for two holes, 180 degrees apart, inch and a half in, three inch spacing, two 21 30 second holes. 90 degrees apart, or 180, pardon me. When I first started making these, I created an elaborate jig that sat in the T-slot on the mill table. I would drill one hole Use the pin to register the shaft 180 degrees apart, drill another hole. This, uh, this jig was a major project for my lightweight equipment and it was a ton of work.
you're doing with uh, opposing holes like this is indexing at 90 degrees. Let's simulate the two hole thing on our smaller shaft here. Okay, we're back. We're going to simulate two holes 90 degrees apart in our sample stock here. And just further to it not battering if the indexing plate is off center. Here we go. This is uh, my father's glue gun. The lights dimmed when I plugged it in. I don't know how many watts this thing is, but... Okay, here goes. Big old gob of hot glue. Don't matter if it's centered. Done. Oh, there's the lights back to normal now. Hey guys, we're over at the mill now. Got our V-block glued on the end of the work. So there's position number one. We could come in and do our business. Here's the uh, spindle in the background there. Come in, do our business. Go to the next 180 degree apart or 90 degree depending come in there do our business it doesn't matter that the indexer is not centered I guess there's another thing that's square you could have glued this on the end of the, the shaft and line that up with the, with another square. Just an interesting uh, thought. Let's go back to the bench. Okay guys, I'll stop beating on this subject. The uh, the gluing of this B block that's completely legit the uh, the Bostic 260 really pulled through that thing is stuck on there 100 percent perfect uh, very precise indexing with the V block uh, getting back to the indexing plates Complete drawing package available. All four plates dimensioned out. Full scale templates. Instructions for use. Examples of different setups. Build notes. Uh, $3.80, I think, US. Under $4. My link to my store is in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. It's been fun. We'll see it.